I like to wake up at 6 o'clock so I have more time to doing my thing and I like to just see the morning sky to see the morning light to um, enjoy my first coffee in the morning. Good morning, I'm Chang Hui from Hobo Venture. This is a video about my daily routines in Panama City while well, Dan is not with me. In the morning, when I wake up at 6 o'clock, having a first cup of coffee, take my time for 20 minutes, and I start to doing my exercise and stretching and yoga for 30 minutes to 1 hour. After I done my exercise, yoga and everything, I will start to cleaning the house. I clean the house every two to three days. I, I sweep the floor, I mop the floor. I need to make sure my... Because as an Asian, we don't like to wear the shoe inside the house or slipper. So I need to make sure my feet doesn't stick to anything on the ground. So the Airbnb host that will see this one, you know that we always take care of your house. Same with the kitchen stove, I need to make sure it's clean. I don't like to see the oils or anything stick on the stove, you know, it, it's made my food doesn't taste good. <laughs> That's why I clean everything. In this Airbnb, they have washer and dryer, which is I love it the most because I can wash our bed sheets, towel, and everything every week that I don't need to send for the laundry. One thing I also use the water from the washing machine that's to wash the balcony. So every time I have uh, washing the clothes, I will wash the balcony. I love the smell of the pillow, everything that after wash. So, that is why I change my bedsheet once a week. I think that is pretty normal for changing once a week. And um, after I doing all this cleaning, I will start to cooking my lunch and prepare for my lunch. I love garlic and this thing I do once a week. I cut, chop everything and I fry it. And this thing, the garlic can put in my chicken soup, rice and everything. I go to the grocery store every two to three days and there's two big grocery stores in our area. Walking distance about 10 to 15 minutes. I don't use online shopping apps because they are all in Spanish and I don't understand Spanish. It's like, uh, it's very similar with uh, Malaysia. It's a very organized place. I'm staying in Panama City right now, so they have train, they have buses. It's very convenient here. The weather in Panama right now is July, uh, June, July. It's a raining season, so I uh, always will have uh, an umbrella with me in case it's raining. For me, the umbrella is also like a protection, you know. If anyone comes to you, you can use the umbrella to hit them, punch them or whatever <laughs> and from here to walk to the grocery store is about 900 meters or 1.2 kilometers it depends which grocery store you want to go sometimes I will walk with my umbrella open because I don't want to have a UV on me I don't want to get sun is uh, it has a cancer, you know, it's not good for your skin. I'm walking from over there all the way to here and then cross to go to that mall. I also can go to this mall, but uh, I just want to find something in that side, so let's go. Well, I'm right here, very quick one, right? I have a long leg, right? <laughs>
what I eat when Dan is not with me, I eat all these foods. I have purchased a pork dumpling, chicken dumpling, chickens and fish and masa and this all my grocery stuff, yes. Do you know how much is my grocery stuff for months when I'm in uh, Panama City? Don't forget to check the video that I do it with Dan. So I cook everyday chickens and pork and fish. I uh, making like uh, I go to there is a Chinese store in our area, not a Chinese three Chinese store that you can buy uh, Southeast Asian ingredients, food ingredients. So I have uh, green curry chicken, I have tom yum, I have the Japanese uh, miso soup. I have kimchi. I have everything, and that is a garlic I use. To, on my soup that is a flat garlic so it's made the food very tasty that is why I make it if you like garlic you definitely will do it like how I do this is a miso soup <laughs> one thing is you can purchase a fresh made tofu in Panama City in the Chinese store the tofu is all fresh made and it is very 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 delicious I thought I would go out to eat in the restaurant when Dan is not with me but no, never one time because I'm so in love with the food that I cook inside the house and you can see it's all very healthy so um, I have a very good food at home, I do my exercise well, I don't need to go out and eat at all maybe if we then come back then we will go out to have some pizza which is I don't know how to cook pizza <laughs> yes in Panama City I feel like I am back to Asia because of those food I can purchase and I can cook myself these are green curry chickens I put chicken and vegetable inside wow that is so so delicious it's calming down that's <laughs> it's calming me down of the craving of the Asian food this is a Chinese dishes that, that uh, they usually selling in the Chinese herb store and they cook it for you the, the cooking and the making way is very easy it's just powder you add on the water and stir it and put it on the bowl let it cook off and then you eat with the honey wow original this kind of jelly is made of the turtle shell but right now I don't think they have any more because turtle shell is very expensive so the jelly we call Quilinko is sold as a dessert that not contain turtle shell powder they share the same herbal uh, herb stuff as the medicines and are similarly marketed as being good for skin complex when ingested Wow, I love this dessert 
so I cook it but only cooking one time because um, it's quite a big uh, portions and I couldn't finish three bowl like this and the best time to eat this desserts is after cook for in two days you need to finish it if not the taste will be gone and it doesn't taste that good this is a flower that then sent to me for our um, fire anniversary and the secretary called to the house phone and asked me to go down I think so, I just said, you know say mucho espanol I'm like, oh my god, is it I have to go down and then I go down, i writing the notes uh, translated by my google that uh, please call my Airbnb host for anything and then when I go down and then he hand me the flower I'm like, oh my god, that is why that I have uh, a number from Panama City to keep calling my mobile that I don't know who is it I just press uh, you know ignore them <laughs> well that is my day life in Panama City that I hope you enjoy watching it if you enjoy please don't forget to like comment and subscribe you help my YouTube channel thank you so much and I see you in the next video bye bye